especially I mean, Monroe County. Show News reporter Julie Bonavich sat down with three families in Monroe who are fighting back to save their community. Dad, it's dad addictive. She had to choose in her life heroin. Over sex. Mm -hmm. That's what Thayer's friend told him about heroin. Whether you inject it or inhale it, the immediate rush of pleasure is what gets users hooked. It's like, hey, you gotta have it again. I say it's like an unbelievable feeling. These families say heroin has been breaking hearts in Monroe long enough. And every time you get on Facebook or you, you open the newspaper, it's well, one of your friends is gone. As of November 2nd, 33 people have died from drug overdoses in Jeez. Monroe this year. Christ. 13 of the deaths directly related to heroin. It's 18 days. Soon they will surpass last year's numbers, where 40 people died from drug overdoses. 14 of those deaths directly related to heroin. Did you talk to your son about drugs? And All the time. All the time. I begged him. No, Dad, I don't do that stuff. Thayer Stump's 18-year-old son, TJ, tried heroin for the first time in February. It was also his last. They just left him there. Left him there to die. TJ and two of his friends partied in a hotel room until TJ overdosed and died. His friends were too afraid to call 911. They were high too and didn't want to get in trouble. So if they would call 911, I'd still have my son today. When Bob Zupkoff's son, Jake, died from a heroin overdose, he was only 22. This was like a total shock. I mean, I... <laughs> Still, still understanding. The dealer who sold his son heroin served four years in prison. She recently got out. Now he's afraid she'll help drive someone else's child to their death. I've seen kids walk up to my son's casket in the funeral home and just bust out crying and like they, oh my God. And then three months later, they're dead. Megan McCollum is afraid her brother will end up in a grave just like Bob and Thayer's sons. Burying him, then I will bury him. She says her brother has overdosed a couple of times, and he's already wrecked a few cars. It's been very close. That's why I wait for it every day. She says there is nowhere in the county for teens and young adults to get long-term professional help. Give us the resources we need for these kids. Megan is organizing a rally on November 22nd in front of Monroe City Hall to let city officials know they don't want to be known as the heroin capital of the region. We're done watching our kids die. We're done. From Monroe, Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News. We talked to the health departments for Oakland, Wayne, and Macomb counties, and they all say they've seen a dramatic increase mm. in heroin use in recent years. And we have information on how you can get help for yourself or somebody you know.